work with Smilegate to include a top player request in the June update. A top player request. Uh huh. A stronger research available at item level 1460 that improves alternate characters' honing rates on their journey to item level 1415. So it ends at 1415. We were too excited to not spoil that one, but you'll have to wait until June 29th for the full release notes. Hmm. And some people said that um, they should have said this earlier. I agree. <laughs> I was honing yesterday and the day before too in NA. While we, or <laughs> uh, while we originally hoped to release the June update earlier in the month, a few factors played into the update moving to the end of the month, working with Smilegate to add in the player requested Stronghold Research, our teams focusing on ridding the bots, queues, that came with the bots, evaluating other content set to arrive, and adding in a few player gifts. Now, wouldn't it be a banger if they just told us this? <laughs> it's not that we don't like delay. I mean, delays suck, but just I think most of us just wanted that communication. In the June-July roadmap we released earlier this month, we shared that the Yose's Jar cosmetic system would arrive in the June update. After taking another look at the system's design, and listening to player feedback, we've decided to remove Yose's Jar. Yose's Jar, that's this right here. About $150. <clears throat> you get times five of these. And uh, pretty much, I hate this system, man. It's the loot box thing. You use the urn, you use a fabric, 14 pieces. And then you have a chance of getting the legendary skin. So I have the uh, golden one and there's the black one. You can't choose the color, it's random. I hate the loot box because I lost so much money to it. But after that incident, I've been just getting it from the auction house directly with the gold. Sorted by price. There you go, it's right there. But anyways, I've covered it in this video. This one. I hate the system. We've decided to remove Yose's jar. First, some background. It's important to us that players have a path to acquire items from our in-game store without spending real money. Nearly every store item can be acquired with crystals available by trading gold through the player run currency exchange F4. I, so they're talking about blue crystals here. Items acquired with royal crystals are also tradable through the player to player market. Uh huh. The market allows the community to play an active role in the valuation of items. It makes the economy within Arcasia highly flexible, letting players trade items as they see fit. Okay. Through these avenues, nearly all items are available in exchange for in game earnable currencies. Such as name chain, with a few exceptions, like character slots and names, <laughs> name changes. Okay, character slots should have put that in there, but yeah. Hey, hey. Yose's jar with the context, with that context, let's discuss Yose's jar. This cosmetic system includes a variety of epic skins and two signature legendary skins for each advanced class per slot. As fashion plays a critical role in vanquishing. Uh, we were excited to introduce, past tense, a collection of unique looks. However, the epic and legendary skins aren't purely cosmetic. They give us that buff. They provide a small 1% and 2% respectively. Yeah, but most people are already wearing epic. So going from epic to legendary is a 1.905 attack power increase. 1.905. Every advantage is critical as players engage in Lost Ark's challenging activities, like the newly introduced Legion Raids. While the skins from Yose's Jar would have been available to everyone through crystals, and uh, the role, uh, player to player. So what they're saying is craft it, buy, buy the stuff with Royal Crystals, right? And through the spenders, we'll have these legendary skins being pumped. And then placed into the auction house for sale, right? So that they can sell these and get gold. But let's keep reading. Data and feedback suggested they would fetch very high gold prices. Well, yes, because of the bots and inflation and RMT, making it difficult for players to acquire legendary skin. Yes, you should include free to play players to acquire the legendary skin because it's inflated, much less a matching set. True, we didn't want players to feel that the skins found in Yose's Jar were necessary for gameplay. 
yeah, they're not, but FOMO kicks in, especially if gated by a significant monetary or in-game currency barrier, which is why we've decided to remove Yoz's jar and skins from the Wrath, blah, 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 blah. Flexibility and fairness to players have always been driving forces and partnership between our teams. Yeah, so basically what they're saying is they're worried about the system that we have in Korea being implemented into NAEU, South America, and it was going to happen, right? People were going to post it in the auction house. And just like the engravings in NAEU and South America, uh, they're really expensive, right? So they were just worried that these skins would go for like 100k. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be like a blow. Like at first glance, it would be a blow to like the free to play players. It would be a blow, like demoralizing, right? <clears throat> And the loot box system sucks, in my opinion. I, I, I don't like it at all. I know some people like gambling. I mean, I got my limits. But anyways, uh, so what? That's how they ended it? Okay, so there's a follow-up from Rox. Yoz's Jar and the Legendary Skins will not be available in June updates. We don't currently have a new path forward for making the skins available we would like to revisit this and revisit this currently keyword revisit this keyword and do so if possible but not that is something that has not wait but that is something that has not been decided on decided on at this time and i guess players just want this soon so as soon as possible in a fair system that is affordable, achievable because of the power spike as well as whatever else because it looks good, status symbol. I think people really like the looks, right? So basically, they were gonna implement the Yoz's Jar and they thought, I don't know why, that NAEU South America would have been fine with it. Before the game released, like I said in this video, I don't think people would have liked the system. <laughs> why didn't they anticipate this? And rework it ahead of time. But anyways, they need a delay on the skin. The legendary skins. And it's also confusing why we're going Season 2 instead of Season 1. Anyways. Hopefully they get this sorted out very soon. EU bo loot box news? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Whatever it is. It's delayed. And I, I think what people really want is... <laughs> They really don't want the legendary skins to go away. They just love the looks, right? I'm not talking about like the stat boosts. People just want it for the looks. Because it looks pretty banger. Art is subjective. I really like them. I really want it on my NA scrapper as well. But it sucks it's going away. But if they're going to take the time to make it a better system, then I mean, I'm all for it. To thank players for their patience and celebrate the launch of the June update, we're excited to announce that two... Yeah, Solfus, I know. Two gifts will be granted to all players. We'll be giving all players a growth support pack, which contains Destruction Stone Selection Pouch times five, so a thousand. We'll also be giving all players a Mokoko skin. Dude. <sighs> Been begging for this one. Pick your favorite one and the battle... Oh, we're getting up to the latest ones. Up to all the latest ones. Okay, that's good. With the snowman, Mokako outfits included. Destroyers should be happy. Everyone should be happy. Not completely, but Mokoko skin is nice. These gifts will be available to claim after the weekly downtime on June 30th. Okay, store updates. June update will also include some of the new store items for players looking forward to switching up their outfits. They're adding in, um, this is from last year around June or May. We're adding new cosmetics to the in-game store, the Shadow of Stern Collection and Umar Collection. Oh, <laughs> oh, this one. Okay. Umar, which is, I believe, in the shop permanently in KR. This is the one. Yeah, this is not diable. All right. That's for the... Male models? Alright, let's go back. Growth support packs containing honing materials will also be added to the store for players looking for a consistent offering over the... Oh, so this is the one that they had up 
was it last week after reset some people were able to stack these up to three also be added to the store for players looking for consistent offering over the rotating honing materials currently available basically people who want more than just marie shop there's that growth support packs we've already seen these um they've taken it down they'll be re-added in each pack will be available through the in-game store for about a month and as a purchase limit for uh, of one per customer one per customer the full details and pack contents will be shared in the upcoming release notes basically details in the patch notes oh yeah yeah vicus is coming vicus and kungulanium the turtle 1460 guardian as well as Vicus Normal Hard, 1430 and 1460 respectively. This Throne Spire dungeon is the bridge. It's like tower, but you get only rewards once per roster. There are two legendary engravings in there. That's the most exciting reward, I guess. As well as honey mats. Lots of silver. Stronghold research available. All right, 1460 Stronghold research. 20% less mats to start it. And then... Uh, success rate increased by 